Welcome back, lovely viewers, to New Age Horizons. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Carl Jones. Three the voice of the entire oh, community. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Age Horizons episode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Are you ready? Welcome to the return of New Age Horizons. I'm your lead commentator for the evening, Brad Maple. I'm joined by Raymond Foolhardy. Raymond, how are you feeling tonight? Oh, I'm excited, Brad. It's the rebirth of New Age Horizons. The year is 2019, and this should be a good one. I am, I am psyched for this one. Same thing for me, Raymond. I'm getting goosebumps hearing these fans chant out NAH. It has been too long since New Age Horizons has been back. And we got a great party. We're going to be starting off with the Heritage Title Tournament tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The young kid, TJ Ray, going up against Sensational Ron. But that is not it. It's going to be monumental tonight. For the first time ever, we are going to see women in New Age Horizons. And in the main event, we are going to see Katya versus Marcella Oh boy, I like that. Women in wrestling, my favorite things. There's a lot to love about tonight, Raymond. It's just going to be great. I'm just so excited. I can, I can say the same thing, man. I can say the same thing. Excited. Let's get right into it. Oh, oh, wait. Brad, I'm going to need you to hold on for a second. Oh, man. We've got the New Age Horizons champion. He won this at final hour before there was a little hiatus for the company. Joshua X is in the building, Brad. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, this is great. Joshua X is in the when I say vocal against Lance Frisco, Joshua X has just flat out said that Lance Frisco is a seller ever since going over to Beverly And even said that he only went there for a check. Hey, he is a seller. I agree with that. For debate, but I don't see I don't see that Joshua X is on the card tonight. So I think he's going out here. And it doesn't matter, Brad. It doesn't matter. The champ is here. He deserves the spotlight. He's going to take the spotlight, center stage in the squared circle, and he'll have something to say for us. I I, I assume. These fans are going to show this man some respect. This was supposed to be incredible. This was supposed to be a family that fought for justice. We were supposed to fight for everything they owed us. But now the only thing I'm owed is my respect. Where's my respect, Frisco? Whether you like it or not, I'm your NAA champion and I will be treated as a champion, where's my promotions? Where's my, where's my showcases, Frisco? Where's my interviews? Where's, where's everything that you do for a champion, Frisco? Now I know it makes you sick that I'm the champion, and I know you wish and pray you could do something about this, but you. And you're gonna to try to put me against people that you swear is gonna be an obstacle in front of me. And, and we even have this, this extra tall obstacle 
that you put in front of me, this giant wall that you think is gonna stop me? But you understand, I fought against odds my entire life. I wasn't supposed to make it out of my city, but I do. I wasn't supposed to be successful because they didn't want a brother like me to be successful, but goddamn it, I am. And you know why? Because I never took shit from nobody. I never let anyone tell me what I'm going to do, and I let no one stop me from what I want to do. There's a reason you made me a general in our army, Frisco. Because I'm the most dangerous man in this business, and it's not because of my violence, it is not because I'm really good at what I do. No, 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 no. It's because I don't listen to no man or do what people are asking me. I don't care what people think, and that's terrifying. Because how do you control a man that's not even in the system? What do you do to a man who doesn't abide by your rules and follow this all? You do nothing because you can't. And, he, he, and you know what's crazy? This seven foot giant that you think is gonna be your savior and get your NDH champion back to his rightful place is not even here. Where is this, <laughs> this man that I'm supposed to be scared of? Huh? You don't know where he is. No one does. And, and you know what? I find it very disrespectful. Because as a champion, if you are my challenger, then you should face me like a man. Well, I'm here. Ready to face this giant like a man. Because even though he is seven foot tall, whatever the hell, I make him look like he's five feet something. So whenever you're ready, I'll be here. And if you don't want to come out, I'll come get you. Because this is the delegation. You can stand with us or you can fall against us. The choice is now mine. Strong words by the champion, but he's sweet his way up to the ring. Oh, wait. Constable Cassius, the man that works under Lance Frisco, coming out here now. I wonder what he has to say. Listen, listen, listen. Joshua X, Lance Frisco has heard everything that you have said tonight, but he just doesn't want to come out. So you have to deal with me. You say you want a real fight. You want some real competition, don't you? Well then, I'm gonna give you some against this man. Oh, so I guess we're getting an impromptu match here. What the heck? Who is this? That's a good question, Brad. Who's that, sir? Lyle Magnus? My, my notes say he's 45 years old. What? Wait, oh, on top God. of that, it says he's the Coney Island hot dog eating champion? What? What is this? What, what is this mess? Who is this? I mean, oh! My oh, God! Oh, oh, oh. oh. What a nice way to start things off. Joshua You're gonna give the X champ a match? Oh! Ooh. Yeah, Joshua there X is go. not starting off here. Light Raymond already going after I, the hot dog eating champion of Coney Island. It's a waste. Why the heck would he try to become a wrestler at this age? 45? Really? I yeah, it's yeah, he started wrestling at 45 years old. You know, I guess you're never too old to be chasing your dreams, and you're never too old to get a big boot from Joshua X, but oh Magnus! It's not chasing dreams, he's gonna run into a nightmare before this is done. 
And it looks like Magnus up bringing it to Joshua X. Now grabbing him by the throw and making Joshua X roll out. Got to give the champ some space. He needs time to breathe. I, I, don't know, I don't think he was prepared to face a man like Lyle Magnus. It, it's like getting himself together. It's his composure. Now back in the ring. And oh, getting met with a huge Ooh. chop by the big man. Oh, trying to go for it again, but oh, X saw it coming. And oh! <laughs> you do whatever you can to win, Brad. And yet, that's what Joshua X has been about. Been about, excuse me, ever since coming to New Age Horizons. He uses every dirty trick in the book to get ahead. And that, we've you call seen it, that countless times. You call it dirty, but it's just smart tactics. He's a veteran of this sport. Come on now, get with the program. However you want to save, but oh, okay, look at him. Okay, let him out. Grab him right on that arm, trying to rip it off using all of that five count to his advantage and oh, going back to it now with the standing hammer lock now. Yeah, yeah one of his many submissions in his arsenal. Ooh. Oh, Magnus oh, getting God. out of it. Oh, hitting him with the head, but getting some space and all. Oh, here we go. Oh, picking up the new Come age on. champion. And look at him. Come on, Look X. at him, he still has him up. Put, put him down. Oh, look at this. You could say he's eating the competition right now and bringing Joshua X down to the canvas, letting all the blood flow down to his head. Blood! Did you really just say eating the competition? Uh, yeah, he's a dog eating champion, and he's getting the best the of the New Age Horizons World Heavyweight Champion. Look at him. I've been commentating for a while, but I have to work with you for those kind of jokes. Goodness. Hey, come on, you know, we're seeing, I've, I've never seen this before. And oh, look at him, picking up Joshua X. Oh, come oh, on, wait. come on. Got Joshua, out of it. Joshua X finding a way out of it, using that experience Ooh. advantage. Oh. Grabbing the arm once again, locking it in now. And oh, slamming Ooh. his head into the canvas Planted with him. that DB, DDT, excuse me. Over the pin. It's over. Come on. No. Oh. So we're going to get another replay because we've seen Joshua X going after this arm several times in this matchup thus far. And going after right there, grabbing it, hitting it with his knee, and grabbing it once again and locking it behind his back and just impaling him right on the canvas. You know, I feel like the ref was too slow. Now. Come on. He he was too slow. It he, that was fine. What are you talking about? Whatever you say. Who is he's wailing away on him now? Come on. Nonetheless, yeah, Joshua X still in control of this matchup. And I didn't bring this up earlier, you know, but if he felt disrespected before by Lance Frisco, I wonder how he feels going up against this man and oh Ooh. hitting him with the back elbow. Come this on. could be it. One, two, two and no. Still slow, still slow, come on. You gotta be kidding me, I, I, I can't with you right now. But oh wait, no, Joshua X again going after now. We have a sitting hammer lock applied now. And look at him, he has all the leverage in this. I'm not really sure what Magnus can do to get out of this. Should go back to eating hot dogs. Oh. No, I don't think so, I, I think he wants to win against a world champion finding a way to break out of it and oh hitting him in the gut going for the gun wrench but oh no nope 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 X getting out of it oh blowing him up and wait hey on. wait he got the tights come on ah! come on he's got a handful hey! of come on oh somehow Lyle getting out of that and oh catching the champ huge spinning sidewalk slam with the pin ah! could he beat oh. the champ hey! and no not enough Not enough, Brad. I, yeah, almost picking up. I almost. Hey, it looked almost like an easy victory for Magnus and all. What? Josh Wex backing up, but oh, <laughs> I think he was just playing mind games and all. Yes, he was. Suckered him in. Yeah, he suckered him right in, just slamming his shoulder right into the ring post. And oh no, he's got the arm. Oh. And oh no, no, oh. we've seen this several this times. Is this is it. Malcolm's dream. This yeah, is Malcolm. This is it. And oh, that's it. He taps out. Ball game. The champ wins. Oh. Awesome. We're getting another replay of this here, folks.
know, just toying with them, playing mind games, and bringing them right in, hitting his shoulder on the ring post, grabbing that arm that he's been working on all night, and pulling him in right here for the Malcolm Dream. Seemingly so close to the ropes, but not close enough. Lyle Magnus had to tap out. Good riddance. Malcolm's dream for Joshua X, the, a nightmare for what was it, Lyle Magnus. Waste. You know, I, feel, I feel like if he, he's getting competition like this from Frisco, we are going to hear plenty more promos. Joshua X saying how upset he is about New Age Horizons, but you know, that's all every for, right wait, to be wait, upset. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait, come on. Come on. You won the match already. Going after Lyle again? Oh, come on. He won the match, but he's here to send a statement to the rest of the roster. Wait, a statement? He already made a statement. He won the match. No, this is sickening. We got to get someone out here. Oh, come on. No, just blundering him over the head again. Come on. It's fine. It's fine, Brad. Let it be. Like he said earlier, you're either with him or you're against him. It's his choice. Oh, my. He's not done yet. No, he's not. Come on. What else do you have to prove? You're the champ. You beat him. That's the point. He is the champ. He hasn't gotten his, his spotlight that he deserves. It's what he just talked about. You probably weren't listening. No, oh, I know what yes. he's going for. No, 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 oh, going yes. for it. Oh, execution. And that's a statement right there, Brad. You better get used to it. Joshua X, the new Age Horizons oh, champion, is here. God, I'm sick to my stomach. Re that referee better help him out. You can gaze from the Rockies, you can climb atop the Appalachians, but you can't find a type of man in the nation. There's only one man around these parts with diesel in his veins, puffing from a star-spangled heart. There's only one man with arms that hit like a bundle of Louisville sluggers. And boy, you are looking. The motivated American hero is coming to town, and I am blazing a freedom throw to every sorry son of a son that's willing to step on the trap. Understand, there is not a man on earth that can stop my pursuit of happiness for the glory of this great nation. So people of New Age Horizons, get ready, because a one man walk and talk and romp and stomp and stampede of liberty is heading your way. And his name is Terry Act. was Raymond the man the myth the legend Terry Atkins on his way to New Age Horizons we'll have to wait to see him because tonight is the start of the Heritage title tournament four matches with eight men trying to be crowned the new Heritage champion of New Age Horizons we're going to start that out tonight we talked about this match earlier it's going to be TJ Rave going up against Sensational Wong I think I know which one of the two is coming out first. <laughs> yes, that's right, Brad. It's sensational. Juan, everything about him is exactly that. Sensational. From what I know of Sensational Juan, I've had the pleasure to commentate some of his matches before he's now here in New Age Horizons. You know, he's been around here not too long, but he's definitely experienced in that way. He actually comes from the family of wrestling. Third generation wrestling, to be exact. Though he has not followed from the path of his father and his grandfather, he has done his own thing, and he's done that by not always playing to the rules, not always playing into what the fans want to root for, and it's overall just going down his own path. There's nothing wrong with that, Brad. You can call it whatever you want. He's following his own path. He's making his way. He's 
He's building his future. And that's a Sage Juan is in New Age Horizons. And he has a good chance at becoming Heritage Champion. I believe he's going to win the whole thing. Not just tonight, but the whole thing. That's a bold statement, Raymond, but you know, he definitely has the opportunity to do that. You know, uh, this, this tournament's very different, though. We're seeing new names, new faces like him and TJ Ray, but also on that card, you know, you see returning faces like Mr. Champion and Clark Edwards, two men that have been around New Age Horizons for a very long time since its origins. But I don't know. These are two guys that have very different styles from the old guard of New Age Horizons, especially this kid, T.J. Ray. He's got a pyro. It looks ridiculous. Oh, well, ridiculous? Well, you know, you're not the first person to say that a lot of people have been against this kid. And it, a kid's the word to use. You know, this little Spitfire is one of the youngest wrestlers that we have on the roster. You know, He's still kind of, he's still very green. Some people could call him, but he's been in very big matches, really just trying to learn with every match to become better. And it's very surprising for it to see him in New Age Horizons, but it's also, personally, it's something exciting to see such a young man really learn about himself and grow. As uh, we're going to see him every week. Well, that's not going to be fun. Did, did he even get his parents' permission to be here? Oh, come on. You, you know he's older than that. Yeah. Well, we'll see tonight who wins. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The, the bell has rung. The match is underway. TJ Rave versus Sensational One. And look, these fans are already getting behind the young kid. What a chance for one. Come on now. Oh, now we'll tie up now. Oh, Juan using that obvious size advantage to throw down TJ Raven. Oh, TJ Raven coming back at him, telling him to bring it. Oh, that's smart. Ooh. Oh, huge hook punch by Juan. And oh, he's getting met with an elbow. Rave not standing down. And oh, these two men going back and forth. And oh, Juan again slapping him Ooh. right in the face and bringing him down to the Dropped canvas. Him. We've already seen that disrespectful nature from Juan early on in this matchup. There's nothing disrespectful about it. He's strong. Oh! Well, how about that? I don't see the problem. Ooh. Oh, but, oh, come on. Oh, raking the back now. A TJ Raven oh, punching him right into the corner. Oh, hitting him with a knife edge chop now right across his chest. Oh, it's in the other corner now. Ooh! Oh. Huge clothesline in the corner now bringing down TJ Ray, but again getting back up to his feet, not stepping away from it. And oh, still getting met with all these punches now. And oh no. And drops him again. <laughs> you know, I would call this, so far, I'd call this sensation. Right, I can see that you are already a very fanatic person for sensational Juan Raymond. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait though, TJ Ray putting back in this one. Throwing him in the corner, and oh, jumping all the way up. Hitting him with a fury of punches now, and oh, huge uppercut by the kid. So quick. So quick, now, oh, hitting him with a sliding clothesline. And these fans getting behind TJ Rave now. He sets up for something here. Oh, through the ropes out, oh, huge spinning DDT. He's going for the pin now. Could this be it? it no. Nope. No. Not enough. Ooh. Oh, Juan now with an elbow to the back of the head. And again, going back to the punches. And oh, bringing down Rave now to one knee. And oh, Ooh. my. A sensational right hand right there. Oh, boy. Uh, I, I don't think TJ Rib knows what's coming next. Now getting met with a huge super kick now. This may be over. Yeah, this, this might be the beginning of the end, Raymond. There's now one setting up for something here. Now, oh, knees to the back, flipping him over. And now we got a modified cross face now in the wait, middle of the wait, ring. Wait, wait. 
No, wait, wait, no, one, wait, two, it's the tights, three, he did it. Are you kidding? What? Out of nowhere, TJ Ray stealing the victory right from under sensational one, ladies and gentlemen. He had the tights. Something. He, what? May have called too fast. Eddie. You no, know, this is just pure luck by the kid. You know what they say? Karma's a you know what, and it definitely fit Juan tonight with this disrespectful nature to TJ Ray. This is ridiculous. That's unfair. Um, I don't know if it's fair or not, Raymond, but these fans are loving. They're completely behind them and one furious. There's nothing funny about this, Brad. Come on. What a child. God damn it. You gotta find Joey. The homecoming main event's not goddamn main event without him. Gotta get that damn doll of Joshua X. Answer the phone. Frisco! It's been a while. Hey, I gotta say, man, bringing NAH back, I tell you, I think it's a good move. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure that everyone out there is just as excited as I am for this return. Uh, is, is this Aiden Paracolo? What do you, what do you want? You, know, you you and I both know the history I have here, and I know I got a lot left to prove. So Frisco, I need you to give me that chance. I need you to take a chance on me and bring me back. Look, uh, you got injured, oh, we fired you, uh, but all that stuff is water under the bridge. Uh, but I, I just don't understand why, why, do you, why should we bring you back in the first place? Look... I get it, but you gotta at least let me go out there and talk to the fans. I have some information they may want to know about Joey. You got, you got information on Joey, huh? Hmm. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll call you back, and I'll let you know what's going on. I swear to God, you better know who Joey is. Oh, it's gonna be a lot worse this time. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and we are getting ready for the main event of the evening. We talked about it earlier. You know, this is a huge moment for New Age Horizons. Not only do we have women on this roster, they will be in the main event. You know, I've had the pleasure to commentate matches for both of these women, almost scouting them for this moment to be here in New Age Horizons. As this woman coming out here, Marcella Ferreira. And she was mostly known for her tag team wrestling for a time, but it came to a point where she became a singles wrestler. And, you know, to be honest, she just hasn't had the best of luck, but she's definitely proved that she is the pure athlete. She's one of the most athletic women in the industry today. And Frisco scouted her out and believed that she deserved to be here in New Age Horizons and she gets to be here in the main event. I have too much to say, Brad. You know your stuff, I'll let you have it. <laughs> I know, li listen, I know. I, it's, this was my job by Frisco to look after these women and really scout them out for these fans and definitely I can show you that, well I can say, that Frisco, you know, he has scoured pretty much the entire world to find the best women to be here in New Age Horizons. And we're starting off with two of the best now as this woman is making her way out. She is known worldwide. She represents women worldwide. And just like her, her theme song says, you know, she is saluting to all of these women as Katia makes her way out to the ring. Good one. The crowd is definitely hyped. Raymond, though, this woman, Katya, has always been for women in town. And she comes out here each and every night with the idea to really show women that if she can do this, any, any woman that's watching can do whatever they set their dreams on in their personal lives. 
That's what she comes out here to do every single night. And she has the confidence of someone like that as well. You know, she has already dubbed herself the first lady of New Age Horizons. Really believing in her athletic ability, her strength is really going to put her on top of the rest of the roster, which has really put a target on her back to the rest of the roster, I believe. And it hasn't lost the respect, though, that she has gained throughout her years wrestling. And you know, we're seeing pretty much both of them respecting each other. We saw it on social media. Both of them felt that it was an honor to be the first women wrestling for New Age Horizons and to be in the main event. Now both these women circling around each other. Staring each other down. Oh, right into the collar. And will tie up already. Oh, Marcella with the wrist lock. Here we go. And oh, Katya finding her way out of it. Rolling out and pulling her arm. And oh, bringing her down to the canvas. Very nice. And a little showing off for the fans now. And both these women going back and forth with words. Marcella backing up a little bit. You know, this is like a human game of chess. You're really just trying to figure out what your opponent is trying to go for. As these two circle around each other once again. Back into the collar on elbow tie up now. Just trying to get one advantage. Oh, Marcella back into the wrist lock. And again, Okatia rolling, flipping out. And oh, bringing Marcella back down to the floor. So much athleticism. It's amazing. And you know, we're really seeing a quick agile ability of Katia. And saw Marcella getting a little frustrated in this match. And oh, look at her. It's using that strength advantage that she has now to push Katia into the corner. And a clean break between these two women. Still showing the respect between each other. I'm liking it so far. And look at little mind games now with Marcella really showing off. And oh, trying to go after her. But Mar Ooh. I mean, Katia roll rolling out of the way. Excuse me. Hitting her with the feet. And oh, throwing her into the corner now. And oh, getting hit right with that leg of hers. And now getting hit right in the back. Jeez. Oh, Katia's not done. Oh, going to the corner now. And oh, Whoa. catching Marcella with the Hurricane Rana. Oh, off the ropes. Katia going off the ropes. And oh, going for the Hurricane oh, Rana. But wait, wait. Oh Marcella, wait. Oh, Katia in a very dangerous position. Almost getting hit with a power bomb. But oh, Marcella ducking down. And oh, Jeez. huge super kick. Three. Just, my God. Almost threw her head off. All right, these are hard hitting women, Raymond. You are gonna find that sooner than later. Is jeez, I'm surprised I didn't see a tooth come out of Katia's mouth. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Marcella. Now this is finally her moment to get the momentum on her side now and again, showing off that strength of the pure athlete, picking up Katia over her head now in the military press and oh, slamming her down. I love it. I'm loving the strength. I love this. And oh, it's smartly staying on top of it now. Going after that arm now in the cross arm bar. In the middle of the ring too. Katia has nowhere to go. No ropes to grab to get out of this. She's going to have to... F oh, wait. Marcella breaking the hold. And oh, again going after the arm. She might have a strategy. Oh. And she might have. Katia finding... The way to get out of it, hitting her in the gut. No, again, hitting her in the gut now with the leg. Going off the ropes. So wait. Well, on the ropes again. Ooh. And oh, catching her now with the Hurricane Rana this time with a kip up. And oh, Marcella kipping up as well. It's crazy. Running after her. And oh, Marce I mean, Katya flipping over Marcella, ducking down off the ropes. Oh, trying to get the forearm. And oh, my goodness. Ducking down once again. And oh, hitting her in the. Abdomen. No, oh, furious strikes and sweeping the legs right from under her. Man. And oh, oh, trying to go for the split leg leg drop. Oh, Marcella moving out of the way. Oh. oh. That could be it. Uh, yeah, there was there was nothing fancy about that elbow, and that might have just knocked her out. And oh. Got her very smart. Uh, yeah, Raymond just. I didn't think Marcella realized how close Katya was to the ropes. I didn't think that she'd grabbed him. That she, she looked knocked out. 
She fell in a nasty way. And she definitely did. And Marcella has to stay on top of this. Not throwing her off the ropes. Ducking down. And oh, catching her. But oh, wait. Katya. Oh, hitting her. Conrado going off the ropes. And oh, hitting her with the Tiger Fent kick. Very skilled oh, using her feet. Uh, yes, no, Katia is very skilled in using those legs. And we're seeing it on display now. Uh, trying to go for some high flying action, and she does! Cross body! Catching well, Marcella. Well, hang time on that one, too. No. And no! Somehow Marcella kicking out. This is, this is a great main event, Brad. My goodness. Uh, you know, these women are leaving it all on the table now as Katia, I think, realizing that she, uh, she's got to think about what to do. She had her in the surfboard stretch, but Marcella fighting out of it, hitting her in the abdomen. And oh, catching her now with the, the face buster. And oh, wait a minute. School? I thought I was going for a school go, but oh, hits her with the butterfly DDT with the Very pin nice. now. Two. No. She got the shoulder up. Marcella, Marcella looks really stunned there. Excuse me. As we take another look at this, Marcella fighting out from this huge offense of Katia and now hitting her with the face buster. And rolling, through, rolling her through and just hitting that butterfly DDT. So close. You know, that was really close. You know, this is coming down to the wire between these two women. As, like I said before, that they're really just leaving it all on the line. And Marcella's just been waiting for Katya to get back up to her feet. It's a lot of space between the two. Wait a second. Oh, wait. Oh, Katya moved out of the way once again. And oh, hitting her in the side of the head. Wait. Oh, Marcella staying on top of her. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait, 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 wait. Picking her up and oh. Oh, I felt that. Yeah, huge back suplex on the edge of the apron. Wow, yeah, just driven right into the back of Katya. That's definitely going to hurt. Back in the ring, though. Yeah, that, that might have slowed down Katya. She's still trying to get up to her feet. Marcella meeting her in the middle. Oh, what? Kicking the leg out from under and out. Jeez. Huge fisherman suplex. Oh, I don't think Katya knows where she is right now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Marcella throwing her off the ropes, ducking down. And all picking her up. Huge sidewalk slam with the pin. This could be it. Two. No. Big move after big move, but it's still not enough to put Katya away. You know, I think Marcella's really just trying to figure out what it's going to take to really put her out. And, oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my. Jeez. I guess she's, yeah, I think she's really trying to test how flexible the body of Kati is. I, I think Kati's foot's touching the back of her head. Is that, is that normal? I'd, I'd, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how flexible Kati is, but I think at some point that's going to hurt anybody. Just just look at just look at this again. Huge back suplex right off the apron. She might have hit the back of her head too. I'm not really sure from that angle. Yeah. But nonetheless, Marcella is staying in control, going off the ropes. Oh! Ooh. Trying to go for the spear. Katya saw it coming. Leapfrog and over and over. My. Huge bicycle kick. My god. Out of nowhere. This is Katya's opening. She's corner. looking to do something here. Oh, hitting her with the forearm. And well, she's not done. And oh, hitting the sliding clothesline. I saw Rave do that earlier. I know both of them really having this high octane energy about them. And Katya, she's looking for something. The fans getting behind her. And oh, hitting the shoulder thrust. Coming in the ring. And oh, hitting the face buster. Very nice. Yeah, they both, like you said, they both have high octane offenses, but I would rather, I have no problem seeing Katya win. Well, wait, she's looking for something here. Wait, oh my, oh 
Oh, Ooh. wait, trying to go for the catapult, but Marcella saw it coming. She got the knees up. Oh. Wait a Looking second. In the abdomen. The, oh, Katya sliding under. And oh! Jeez. Driving her knees right into the face of Marcella, and both of them are out cold. Two. This Three. has definitely been an amazing match so far, Brad. Four. And the referee's counting. Both these women got to get up to their feet before Seven, the 10 count, or this is going to be a draw. Eight. And Katia up to her feet. Marcella coming after, and oh. Wait a minute. Marcella catching her this time, and oh, driving her down. Big move after big move again. My goodness. Uh, yeah, you're really seeing what these women are all about here, Raymond. And, you know, these fans are eating up. All of it now. Marcella in position here in the middle row, but oh, Ooh. Katya, oh my, again driving her knees right into the face of Marcella. And Jesus, wait, she's going up to the top rope again. Catapult this time, hitting my. the catapult this time. The toe tuck moonsault. <gasps> Two, three, and that's it. I'm speechless. Whoa. Let's just take another look at this. The toe tuck moonsault. The catapult. Look at this. Wow. I've never seen that before in this industry. That's her just showing off that athletic ability. And here she is, the first lady of New Age Horizons, winning in the first main event with women in it. I, this is a big moment for her. Yeah, congratulations are in order for Katya. My goodness. They definitely are, but you know, we have to praise the work of Marcella in that match too. She oh, did great. Wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh my God. Who that's, is that? That's Adriana. Petrova? Adri yeah, Adriana Sharpova, you know. Oh, sorry. Part. What is she doing out here? Well, I have no idea, Brad. My goodness. I didn't expect to see her tonight. Especially in the main event now. Oh, she's just destroying Katya in the corner. Just picking her up by the throat. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe trying to send a message. Oh. Ooh. It, I think you're right. Just really trying to show a message to the roster. And oh, get driving her knee right into the lower back. You know, that area that Marcella was working on earlier on. Remind me her name again, Brad. Adriana Sharpova, you know, the woman of the Russian Federation. The right hand of Putin, and oh, slamming now Katya right down with her signature spine buster. Man. And these fans, they're just raining booze upon this woman. I have no idea what Adriana's doing out here tonight, Raymond. But I know this is not good for a woman like Katya. Because when Adriana's around, she she tends to make things about her. Hey, whether you like her or not, she just sent a message to Katya and probably the rest of the roster. And we are definitely going to see a lot more of her. But ladies and gentlemen, that's the all the time we got. <laughs>